as a police officer, he's got access to tools the average person doesn't have. Nearly a year of harassment, disturbing new details in the case against a former Irondequoit police officer. Don't qualify for the Excelsior Scholarship? Prepare to pay more this fall. And in news or noise, can your ATM pin save your life if you enter it backwards? This is WHEC TV, proudly serving Rochester. News 10 NBC starts right now. Once again, the government laid out its case against former Ronacoy police officer Bill Rosica. Rosica is asking the judge to consider releasing him on bail. I'm Brett Davidson. And I'm Jennifer Mobilia. The government is asking the judge to keep Rosica behind bars to protect the victim. Lynette Adams read through the court paperwork and joins us now live at the federal building with the details on the allegations against him. Lynette. That's right, Jennifer and Brett. The U.S. Attorney's Office lays out what it calls a nonstop sadistic campaign used by Bill Rosica to terrorize his former girlfriend with the ultimate goal of pushing her to take her own life. It's actually gotten easier to stalk people. Nick Francesco is a retired RIT professor who now refers to himself as a PC guru. We asked him about the allegations against Bill Rosica. Court documents say for a year, Rosica subjected the victim to a nonstop campaign of terror and psychological torture intended to injure, harass, and intimidate her, and ultimately to kill her. As a police officer, he's got access to tools the average person doesn't have. There are, there are tools that are available for, um, well, they could be used for cyber stalking. They're designed to catch criminals. Court documents say Rosica used direct, indirect, and digital surveillance in a focused campaign of online abuse, physical stalking, and harassment to destroy every aspect of the victim's life. The newly released court papers say Rosica sent the victim multiple obscene emails from fake email addresses. He's accused of trying to hack her cell phone, her email, and even get into her medical records. Court documents say he did this, hiding in the Tor network. You do have to have a certain amount of technical expertise, but not a lot. And many people have it. And it's out there on the Internet. If you know the right way to use Google, you can find all this stuff out there, all of it. So the, the best thing to do is to be vigilant. Francesco says this case is not all that uncommon. He says to protect yourself, he says never give out personal information on social media. Make sure that all of your devices are password protected. And he says use long passwords. And finally, never give out that password to anyone. We're live at the Federal Building tonight. Lynette Adams, News 10 NBC. Excellent.